Hello friends, how's the Josh? Welcome back to SSP Crack Exams. This is Girish bringing you the part 1 on top 500 static GK and current affair one-liners and this will be very helpful for your upcoming AFCAT 2020 examination. The, you have the last few days left for your examination and make sure you make the best use of the last few days and you revise everything thoroughly and you go to exam with confidence. Before we begin, I would like to inform you about the courses that we have launched. We have launched various courses for AFCAT, CDS, NDA, CDS OTA, Territorial Army, INET and various other defense and paramilitary examinations. For each and every examination, our course catered to the specific needs of every examination. If you see the AFCAT course, we have daily current affairs, monthly current affairs, we have static GK, we have English, reasoning, numerical ability and the important subjects like history, polity, economy, geography, physics, everything that is required for you to clear the exam. We also have various mock tests provided. And these mock tests will help you to assess your preparation and gives you an idea where you stand among your competitors. You can know more about this by visiting our website ssbcrackexams.com. You can follow us on Instagram and YouTube as well. You can download our app SSB Crack Exams from the Google Play Store so that you will know more about the defense and paramilitary examinations. There is an entity offer wherein which by using the code warrior 10 you will be getting a flat 10% off on all the courses. Now let's get started. First one. The China is in use recently. So we have to know about the capital and the currency of China. The capital of China is Beijing and the currency is renminbi. Capital of China, Beijing, currency renminbi. Next one is about the Chabahar port. The Chabahar port is the one through which India is trading to Afghanistan. You can see this image. India trades through the Chabahar port and India can reach Afghanistan. It can bypass Pakistan because as you know, the atmosphere between India and Pakistan is not very conducive. So Afghanistan has started exporting to India through the Chabahar port and Chabahar port is in Iran. You can see this image. So here is Chabahar port in Iran. So India will reach Afghanistan through this port. Next one. The World Intellectual Property Day is celebrated on 26th of April every year. World Intellectual Property Day, 26th of April every year. Next one. Foreign Minister Sushma Swaraj attended the inaugural session of Islamic Islamic Organization on 1st of March 2019. And this was boycotted by Pakistan. It is OIC, Organization for Islamic Cooperation. It is the second largest intergovernmental organization after UN. The Organization for Islamic Cooperation. India is not a member of OIC. Pakistan is a member of OIC, Organization for Islamic Cooperation. Next one is about the Orang National Park. The Orang National Park is located in Assam. Orang National Park in Assam. Next one, Indian Railways Rajasthani Express completed how many years of service during March 2019? So in March 2019, Indian, Ex Indian Railways Rajasthani Express has completed 50 years, 50 years after its induction. Next one is about the Young Scientist Program. The Young Scientist Program for the school children is launched by ISRO. It's who launched the Young Scientist Program? It is ISRO. Next one, India to celebrate the Janavashadri Devas on 7th of March 2019. So on every year 7th of March, India celebrates the Janavashadri Devas. Janavashadri Devas. Next one, the World Consumer Day is celebrated on 15th March 2019. World Consumer Day on 15th March 2019. The World Metallurgical Day is celebrated on 23rd March. So, the Jan Aushadi Day was 7th of March. Consumer Rights Day on 15th of March. Metallurgical Day 23rd of March. Next one, the 11th one, Trump recognized Golan Heights as Israel territory. The Golan Heights, the disputed territory between Israel and, and Syria. Israel captured this Golan Heights from Syria during the 1967 Six Day War. The Six Day War. Okay, next one is about the Justice Pinaki Chandra Ghosh, who is the first Lokpal. So, who is the first Lokpal? It is Justice Pinaki Chandra Ghosh. Justice P.C. Ghosh, who is the former Supreme Court judge, is the first Lokpal of India. Next one, the 13th one, the who will host the under 17 football world cup in 2020? It is India. So, India will host the under 17 women's football cup in 2020. Next one, Home Minister Rajnath Singh has inaugurated the Bold QIT, it is Border Electronically Dominated QRT Interception Technique under CIBMS Comprehensive Integrated Border Management System on India-Bangladesh border in Dubri, Assam. So, Rajna Singh is currently the Defense Minister, but when he was Home Minister, he inaugurated this project, Bold QIT. Bold QIT is the Border Management System in India-Bangladesh border. Next one, North Korea-United States Hanoi Summit was held in Hanoi, Vietnam. So, there is a summit between North Korea and United States. It was held in Hanoi, Vietnam. Next one, the 16th one is about the Bangladesh, India-Bangladesh military exercise. It is Sampriti. Sampriti is the India-Bangladesh joint military exercise. Next is about the India and the World Bank 96 million loan. It is to finance the Uttarakhand disaster recovery project. So, Uttarakhand has faced floods and to recover that, Uttarakhand disaster recovery project is started and India has agreed a loan of 
agreed for a loan of 96 million with a made an agreement with the World Bank. Next is about the World Wildlife Day. The World Wildlife Day is celebrated on 3rd of March every year. World Wildlife Day, 3rd March every year. Next one is about the Global Environment Outlook. It is released by UN Environment. UN Environment released the Global Environment Outlook. Next one is about the Consumer Rights Day. It's celebrated on 15th of March 2019. Consumer Rights Day, 15th of March 2019. And Malaysia has joined International Criminal Court ICC by approving the Rome Statue Making. So, who joined the ICC recently? It is Malaysia. And India is not part of International Criminal Court. But you, you might have a doubt that the Kulbushan Jadav case is being trialed. The Kulbushan Jadav case is being trialed in International Court of Justice ICJ and not International Criminal Court which is ICC okay you have to remember this India is part of ICJ but India is not a member of ICC next one the Telangana police have made it compulsory to link its all the apps to Hawkeye app Hawkeye app is the app which empowers common man to become citizen police next one the 23rd one Opium wars were fought between British and China. Opium wars are fought between British and China. Next one. Name the smallest district in India. It is Mahe. Mahe is the smallest district in India. It is in Tamil Nadu. It is in Tamil Nadu. Okay. Next one. The Sepoy Mutiny. The Sepoy Mutiny in India started from Meerut. Meerut is the place where Sepoy Mutiny started. And the Sepoy Mutiny is being led by Captain Bhakt Khan. Okay. Next one. Which state of India was ruled by Ahom dynasty? Ahom dynasty belonged to Assam. So Assam, Ahom dynasty ruled the Assam. Next one, the term blood moon. The blood moon usually referred to the lunar eclipse. Blood moon is lunar eclipse. eclipse. Which one of the following biosphere reserve was the first to be established by government of India? It is in the Niligiri biosphere reserve in Tamil Nadu, Kerala region. So, it is the Niligiri biosphere which is first biosphere that was established by government of India. Next one is about the Uniform Civil Code. It is article 44 which talks about the Uniform Civil Code. Next one, tsunami is caused by underwater volcanic activity. Tsunami is caused by underwater volcanic activity. Next one is about the author of the book, A History of Six. It is written by Kushwan Singh. He is the image of Kushwan Singh. He is a famous author. Next one, an adult human body has how many bones? An adult human body has 206 bones. A child has 230 bones. Remember this. It is already, it is already asked in the exam. A child has 230 bones. But an adult has only 206 bones. Over time, what will happen is bones get together. So the number of bones reduces. Next one. The Baglihar Dam is constructed on which river? The Baglihar Dam is constructed on Chenab. Here is the image of Baglihar Dam. Next one. The how many sessions are held for Lok Sabha every year? It is minimum of three. The maximum time between two sessions of a house is six months. So uh, a maximum time gap of only six months is allowed by the constitution. Next one. The constitution of India was amended for the first time in which year? The first amendment took place in 1951. Next one. Which Indian batsman was the first to hit six consecutive sixes in the first class cricket? It is Ravi Shastri. The current Indian coach Ravi Shastri. Next one. The 37th one. Where is the headquarter of International Atomic Energy Agency? It is in Vienna. In the headquarters of International Atomic Energy Agency is in Vienna. Next one. The 38th one with which the tennis court oath is associated. The tennis court oath is associated with the French Revolution. Tennis court oath associated with the French Revolution. Next one, the Almaty Dam. The Almaty Dam on Krishna River was an issue between which two states? It's an issue between Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. Here is the image of Almaty Dam. Next one, the 40th one. Which of the following articles promote equal justice and free legal aid for all Indian citizens? It is Article 39A. So Article 39A comes under the directive principles of state policy and the DPSPs are, which ensure, are the ones which ensure social justice to all the people of the country. Next one, the Nanda Devi Peak. The Nanda Devi Peak is located in Uttarakhand. Next one, the popular Bark Cave painting. The Bark Cave painting are found in Madhya Pradesh. Bark Caves are found in Madhya Pradesh. And here is the image of the Bark Cave paintings. Next one, the 43rd one. Next, the energy derived from the heat of the earth is called geothermal energy. Energy derived from heat of the earth is geothermal energy. Next, Surindranath Banerjee and Anand Mohan, Anand Mohan Bose founded Dash in Bengal in 1876. It is Indian Association. The Indian Association is founded by Surindranath Banerjee and Anand, Anand Mohan Bose. Next one, what is the acid that is found in grapes? It is tartaric acid. Tartaric acid is the one which is found in grapes. Next is about the gunpowder. The gunpowder consists of potassium nitrate. Gunpowder consists of potassium nitrate. Next about the South African currency. South African currency is South African rand. Next one, 48th one is about Operation Smiling Buddha. The Operation Smiling Buddha is the India's first successful nuclear bomb test and this happened in 1974. 1974 is the time when India has first tested the nuclear weapons. Next one, the Fat of Financial Action Task Force. It was established in 1989 and its headquarters are there in Paris. Fat of Financial Action Task Force. It is an intergovernmental organization developed to combat money laundering in the international arena. Next one is about the International Day of Happiness. So International Day of Happiness is celebrated on 20th of March every year. Even in 2019, it is celebrated on 20th of March. Okay, that is about the International Day of Happiness. Now let's revise what you have studied till now. 
First, capital and currency of China. Capital of China is Beijing, currency of China renminbi. Next, the Chabahar port is there in Iran. India is trading to Afghanistan through Iran. India also aims to reach Central Asia through this Chabahar port. Next one, the third one. It is about the World Intellectual Property Day. The World Intellectual Property Day is observed on 26th of April every year. Next one, the fourth one is about the Organization for Islamic Cooperation. Sushma Swaraj has attended the inaugural session of OIC, the Organization for Islamic Cooperation on 1st of March 2019 and this was boycotted by Pakistan. Next is about the Orang National Park. The Orang National Park is located in Assam. Orang National Park in Assam. Next is about the Rajdhani Express. It has completed 50 years in March 2019. 50 years in service. Next one is about the Young Scientist Program. It is launched by ISRO. Young Scientist Program launched by ISRO. Next, the Jan Aushadi Devas is on 7th of March every year. 7th of March, Jan Aushadi Devas. Next, World Consumer Rights Day is celebrated on 15th of March every year. Next, the World Metallurgical Day is celebrated on 23rd March. Next, Trump recognized Golan Heights as Israel territory. Golan Heights is a disputed territory between Israel and Syria. And Israel captured this Golan Heights during the 1967-60 war. Next is about the Pinaki Chandra Ghosh. He is the first Lokpal of India. Pinaki Chandra Ghosh, PC Ghosh, is the first Lokpal of India. Next, 13th one, who will host the Under-17 Women Football World Cup. It will be hosted by India. Under-17 Football World Cup hosted by India. Next one, Rajnath Singh inaugurated the Bold QIT in Bang India-Bangladesh border. Bold QIT is water electronically dominated QRT interception technique. It is a comprehensive border management system on the India-Bangladesh border and this was inaugurated at Dubri, Assam. Next, the North Korea-US summit took place at Hanoi, Vietnam. Hanoi summit in Vietnam. Next, India-Bangladesh has concluded the joint military exercise called Sampriti. Sampriti is joint military exercise between India and Bangladesh. Next, India has signed an, a loan agreement of 96 million with the World Bank for Uttarakhand Disaster Recovery Project. Next, the World Wildlife Day is celebrated on 3rd of March every year. World Wildlife Day, 3rd of March every year. Next, the 6th Global Environment Outlook released by UN Environment. Global Environment Outlook released by UN Environment. Next is about the World Consumer Day, celebrated on 15th of March every year. Next, who, who joined the International Criminal Court recently? It is Malaysia under the Rome Statue making. So, India is not part of the International Criminal Court, but India is part of the International Court of Justice. Next, is about the Hawkeye app. Hawkeye app have made it compulsory to all by Telangana Police. Next, opium wars are fought between British and China. Opium wars between British and China, remember. Next, the smallest district in India, it is Mahe. It is situated in Tamil Nadu. Next, the Sepoy mutiny in India started from Meerut. So, Sepoy mutiny is led by Captain Bakht Khan and Bahadur Shah. Bahadur Shah is the titular head, but it is Captain Bakht Khan who led the revolt. Next, which state of India was ruled by Ahom dynasty? Ahom dynasty was ruled by Assam. Ahom dynasty by Assam. Next, 27th one, the term blood moon usually refers to lunar eclipse. Blood moon usually refers to lunar eclipse. Next, the first biosphere reserve which was established by government of India it is Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve in the Tamil Nadu Kerala region. Next is about the Uniform Civil Code, Article 44. It talks about the Uniform Civil Code, Article 44 comes under the Directive Principles of State Policy and the DPSP ensures the social justice to all people. Next, tsunami is caused by underwater volcanic activity. Volcanic and earthquake activities are the one which causes tsunami. Next, 31st one, who wrote the book A History of Six? A History of Six is wrote by Kushwant Singh. And next one, the 32nd one, adult body has how many bones? Adult body has 206 bones, a child has 230 bones. Next, the Baglihar Dam. The Baglihar Dam is constructed constructed on which river? It is on China River. Baglihar Dam on China River. Next one, 34th one, how many sessions of Lok Sabha are held normally every year? There are three sessions. The budget session, you can say the monsoon session and the winter session. Budget, monsoon and winter, remember. But even suddenly, if there is a need, then a special session can be held. Okay, next one. The Constitution of India was amended for the first time in which year? For, amended for the first time in 1951. Next, which India batsman was the first to hit consecutive success in first class cricket? It is Ravi Shastri. Next, where is the headquarter of International Atomic Energy Agency? It is located in Vienna. Headquarter of International Atomic Energy Agency in Vienna. Next one, with which the tennis court oath is associated? The tennis court oath is associated with the French Revolution. Next, the Alamati Dam project on Krishna River was an issue between which states? It's an issue between Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. Alamati Dam between Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. Next, which of the following article promotes equal justice and free legal aid to all? It is Article 39A. The Article 39A also comes under the Directive Principles of State Policy, which ensures the social justice to all the people. Next, the Nanda Devi National Park. Nanda Devi Peak is located in Uttarakhand, and the Nanda Devi National Park is also located in Uttarakhand. Next is about the popular Bar Cave painting. It is located in Madhya Pradesh. The Bar Caves are located in Madhya Pradesh, and the 43rd one is about the energy derived from Earth, from the heat of the Earth. It is the geothermal energy. Next, the Sunandran Banerjee, Andhra Mohan founded the Indian Association. 
Indian Association is founded by Surendranath Banerjee and Anand Mohan Bose in 1876. Next, tartaric acid is the acid which is found in grapes. Tartaric acid is found in grapes. Next, gunpowder consists of potassium nitrate. Potassium nitrate is found in gunpowder. Next, South African currency is South African rand. Next, the 48th one, Operation Smiling Buddha is the first Indian successful nuclear bomb test which happened in 1974. Next, the FATF Financial Action Task Force established in 1981 with headquarters at Paris. So, it aims to in eliminate money laundering next the 50th one international day of happiness is it is celebrated on 20th of march every year even in 2019 it is celebrated on 20th of march okay so that's it students in this lecture hope you have enjoyed our lecture series make sure you make the best of the resources available and do well in your exam i'll see you again jai hind